Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Few days back, I have posed a question in cardiology trainees and trainer forums. If you just remember, it's I think a few days, maybe more than a week or so. And this was the question uh, that uh, you have a 75 years old male, known case of ischemic heart disease, and LB dysfunction, EF 24%. His aortic valve assessment shows as follows. What next and why? Now, if you see here, you're seeing the main gradient is 20 mmHg, and the aortic valve area is less than 0 0.6 centimeter square. So, according to the area, this is a severe AS. But according to the gradient, it's not severe because here gradient is just 20 mm. And if you look on to the ejection fraction, it is 25%. That means in such patients, and I've seen a lot of right answers. In this patient, actually, what's happening is you have to look for, since the patient is having low ejection fraction, the force of contraction is not there. Uh, adequate to decide whether this area which you are getting, which is in severe areas, is it because of poor contractility of the ventricle that it's, it's unable to open up? And that's why it's maybe a false severe AS. And it's all because of LV dysfunction that the patient is unable to make adequate stroke volume or adequate contraction or it may be so that the obstruction is so severe and the heart is failing that it's unable to overcome that obstruction and it's unable to make that much of the force that creates gradient. So that means in such situation which is a low flow low gradient AF, a common term used for this situation, you have to decide, is this a true significant severe AS or a false AF? And if it's true AF, what is the contractile reserve? And how you decide you have to do a dubitamine stress echo like this. So in this patient, if you do a dubitamine stress echo and at the peak, like 20 microgram per kg per minute, if the mean gradient increases, and the area remains the same, that is 0.6, and the gradient is increasing. That means it's a severe true AS with adequate contractile reserve as well, because it's able to increase the gradients Cross the valve as well, and the area remains the same. If it was a false AF, you may have the area may be increasing. With that 0.6, you may have increasing areas with same or even lower down of the gradients. But you may get three types of situations here. When you see a patient with low flow, low gradient AS, I have taken these slides from a lecture from person who's given on this AS. Low dose dubitamine, stress echo. If your area increases and mean gradient remains the same or decreases, that means you're dealing with pseudo severe AS. That the severe AS because the heart is unable to contract. That's why it's unable to open the valve. Once you have given that dubitamine and increases the force of contraction, you're seeing that area is increasing. That means it was a AS which was shown severe before the butamine because it's, it was unable to open up the valve because of lesser contractile force. So it's a pseudo AS. If after giving dupetamine your area remains less than one and gradient increases more than 40, that means this is a true severe AS and you need. Uh, AVR in this patient. And sometimes it so happens that 
aortic valve area remains unchanged and mean gradient remains unchanged. Both of the things remain the same. So it's difficult. Then you have to go for calcification, CT scan and looking at the calcification in men, it's that category and in female, that's the category. So with that, I think that covers this area of low flow, low gradient AS, very important for sake of examination as well, for sake of patient decisions as well. If whenever you see a patient with severe AS and decreased LV function, look onto the area, look onto the gradient and then decide. And if you're seeing such combination that gradient is low, aortic valve area is low, it means severe AF and LV dysfunction. You need further decision. But if your gradients are high, even with LV dysfunction, that means your patient has adequate contractile reserves. I hope uh, that will clarify this low flow, low gradient and help you in future in managing your patient. Thank you.